Okay. So let me enlighten you about the specialty of venerology. So let's see, our mission is to uh, produce, uh, produce and maintain a workforce who, is, uh, who are very competent uh, on handling sexual transmitted infections, HIV medicine, and as well as sexual health and related preventive programs and the research. So it's not only a clinical job that we are talking about. So it has this clinical aspect as well as the preventive aspect. So it will not be a job that you would do uh, uh, just in a clinic room. Uh, so we want our uh, trainees to be competent uh, in planning, implementing and evaluating the uh, control activities uh, in keeping with the objectives of the National STDS control program uh, for the HIV and STI prevention. And also we need to provide a comprehensive clinical service for people who are seeking care for STIs, HIV and related conditions. So carry out surveillance activities uh, as well as uh, develop appropriate interventions for behavior modification. So as I said, it's, we have to do clinical part. We have to treat patients, but as well as we have to prevent them getting the infections in the first place. And there are some new uh, areas that we are covering in our specialty. One is sexual health and the other is uh, gender dermatosis. These are new things that we are seeing uh, now in our specialty. So let me uh, take through the, the course, uh, the steps of the uh, course of board, uh, getting the board certification in venerology. So as, I, uh, as uh, Dr. Siribadana earlier mentioned, uh, we need uh, basic uh, things. I will come to that later. So first you have to do the selection exam for the PG diploma. Once you are successful, you will uh, enroll into the diploma course. And then at the end of the diploma exam, you will be enrolled into the MD venerology without any other uh, screening exam. And then uh, once you are successful in that, you have to complete the post MD training local and overseas. And then once you finish that, you will be eligible for your board certification. So first, uh, let me talk about the uh, sitting for the selection exam. As Dr. Siribadhar mentioned, uh, you have like you have to fulfill certain criteria for uh, to sit for this exam. You have to be registered at the SLMC, and uh, you have to complete the uh, satisfactory internship as well as one year post internship uh, for this course. Uh, and once you come, uh, fulfill those, you have to. Uh, uh, answer five essay type questions in the selection exam. And the outcome would be uh, the top six candidates who obtain 50% minimum from this uh, paper will be selected as the successful candidates to be enrolled in the uh, diploma course. Uh, this, this number six actually comes from that uh, ministry at guidance because according to the card, card projections and all, we were advised to take six candidates for each intake. So the diploma uh, consists of a uh, training of 18 months. You have to train in a MOH for six months and the central clinic for nine months and a district STD clinic for three months. Uh, at the end of this, uh, you will have to face a written paper which consists of a long essay and a uh, essay, structured essay questions. And then a clinical case, actually two clinical cases, a male and a female with a STI and then OSPI. So we have to take 50% from each component to be uh, successful as a diplomate in venerology. Um, so once you are successful in that, you can directly uh, enroll into the MD in venerology. Again, it's a two year and three months uh, training, uh, training course and you will be trained in general medicine, community medicine, dermatology, obstetrics and gynecology, in psychiatry and of course venerology. So you will be competent in like uh, many of the uh, specialties because we have to deal with uh, many of these problems uh, in treating patients with STDs and HIV. And at the end of this, uh, you will have to face the MD exam. Uh, there will be a written paper again, a long essay and a structure, uh, let's say, uh, paper, two papers actually. So the clinical cases, a long case will be actually it will be a medicine long case, and there will be uh, two medicine short cases one gyneops and a uh, dermatology short case in this, and there will be OSPI as well. Again, you have to uh, take uh, at least 50% from each component to be 
successful in the MD when you graduate. So the exam will be like the, the cases will be conducted uh, by a foreign examiner as well as a uh, local consultant. So there will be a panel of two uh, examiners. Mm, so once uh, you complete the uh, MD exam, so the there will be local one-year training at the National STDS Control Program, and then there will be a foreign training at least one year. So there are internal arrangements uh, with the uh, centers of excellence uh, uh, with the Board of Study of Venereology. So you can get a placement easy in the center. There are certain centers. So one is St. Mary's Hospital UK, that is in the Imperial uh, College Healthcare and NHS Trust. And there is Guys and St. Thomas's Hospital and the Royal London, and also certain uh, centers in Australia, like Melbourne uh, Sexual Health Center. So, like these centers, you can get a placement without any problem. And most of the people get a uh, paid job before they complete the first year uh, because um, they are very keen to get Sri Lankan trainees. And at the end of the two years, actually, uh, the job market in the UK and Australia for our specialty is very lucrative. So, uh, many trainees, um, again, I think uh, it's a common situation that, uh, as Professor Nandadeva mentioned, uh, they, uh, they're reluctant to come back to Sri Lanka because uh, like they get, the, they get nice, nicely paid jobs there. So uh, that advantage is there if you uh, want to settle in uh, a foreign country. So once you uh, complete that, when you come back to Sri Lanka, and by that time, I think you will have passed your exam in the exam. And of course, you will have to do a dissertation also with, during the course of the MD. So by the end of the uh, MD, you will complete that. And you have completed the senior register period for one year in the local as well as in the foreign country. So once you come back, you will have to face a portfolio viva and a pre-board certification presentation before you are awarded with the board certification by the board of study. And uh, the current situation, uh, Currently, we have 28 board certified consultants in Sri Lanka and five awaiting uh, board certification after completing their training. And there are two undergoing uh, foreign training at the moment, and there are about 25 to awaiting foreign training. I think because of this uh, pandemic situation, they can't get the um, things uh, uh, sorted with the, the visas and all because of the current situation. Otherwise, like they are all ready to go. And uh, there are about another 25 in the various stages of their training uh, in Sri Lanka. So why you should consider venerology as your PG? So let me explain why. One thing, it's much more than conventional medical training because you are not dealing just with the patient. Because if, if a patient comes with HIV or STI, you will be dealing with very intimate things of their lives and, of course, with their family. So it's not a single person that you are dealing with. So you will have to be... Uh, a bit uh, empathic uh, to their uh, situation. So it's just not the conventional medical training. And of course, uh, HIV is an emerging field with emerging epidemic, and there are many things going on, many novel things going on, of course, and we would like to get some uh, innovative people because we have this challenge and being AIDS uh, in Sri Lanka by 2025. So you'll be con contributing to that if you uh, do uh, your PGs in radiology. Of course, the working hours, it's very uh, flexible because what we are doing is at, at the moment, we don't have on course as such. We'll be doing full time clinics all the uh, eight to four, uh, all uh, weekdays and uh, eight to 12 on Saturdays. So we can get the weekend and the public holidays off. Uh, and in extra, uh, you will learn how to respect diversity because you'll be. Uh, working with people with many different backgrounds because most of the clients that we will be, you'll have to work with gay communities, you'll have to work with the commercial sex workers, the drug users. So it's not a conventional patient that will be coming to you. So it's a very diverse community. So you will learn to respect the diversity. And of course, because you are dealing with very intimate things, you will be a very good life partner. Uh, that's all that I have to say about venereology. I would like to enter any questions if there are. Thank you.